Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Look at this, it's not raining for a change and the sun's out, but it is going in and out of clouds, so we'll see how it works out. It is making for a very cold morning. It is uh, one degree Celsius, do you see that? What is that in Fahrenheit? Well, there's the temperature. So it's a little cold, I have a gloves on, and of course I have my typical gloves with the fingers cut out so I could touch my phone screen. All right, so we are out here today to review this. This is the F11 4K S version. So I've shown the F11 many, many times in different versions, iterations on my channel. This is the S version. I don't know what S stands for, but uh, apparently this has a 3,000 meter range, which is three kilometers, which is over a mile. I'll put what it is in miles right here, the range. That is why they're selling this. So you get all the features from the past, plus the longer range if you get this one. And I think the prices are similar to the previous models. So it could be a good deal. All right, so before we go fly, how about I show it to you? Oh, it's cold out here, so I'm just trying to get through this review. So anyways, here we go. So it's it's a foldable drone, foldable props, brushless motors, uh, doesn't have any sensors on the bottom. It looks like there's some here, but they're not. They're just plastic imitations of what a sensor would look like. It's very much an inexpensive drone for the first time beginner drone flyer that wants something that has tracking. So it does have like a tracking system on it. Flies long range, like I said, flies for 26 minutes. It comes in the case with two batteries. So you get 26 minutes times two for your flight time. Cameras up front here. It is pretty durable. Uh, I've banged these drones around in the past and they're pretty good. They all charge by USB. So you just plug a USB cable that's included into the battery, it charges up. Very simple to use. The controllers are excellent on these things. Let me show you the controller. They have a display in them that you can read out in sunlight. It's pretty good and uh, they're nice in your hand. Very good for a beginner. First thing I'm gonna do is power on my controller. I've got my hat cam on. I don't know if you can see the display. It should start to say connecting. There we go. It's gonna to wanna to look for the drone and start connecting to it. Can you see it in the GoPro maybe? Oh, the sun is shining that way, so maybe not. I gotta go through this review really quick. Okay, power this on. There we go. I should have a full battery. There we go. What's gonna happen next is my controller is going to connect to the drone. There we go, I am connected. And when you're connected, it will tell you which mode you're in and I am in GPS mode. So we are all set to go. Make sure you take your phone and connect to the Wi-Fi on the drone. You can see I'm pointing an arrow at what the Wi-Fi uh, connection is between my phone and the drone. Look for that and you'll be connected. Next, the app that works with this drone is called the SJF Pro. I'm gonna tap on it now and it should open and there we go and make sure up in the top right hand corner it finds the drone and it says f11s and then you can click on the controls button and then i should see what the camera sees there we go so i'm probably showing you it up here someplace so next thing i've done is i put my phone in the controller so they're connected together because you have to keep the phone close to the controller at all times please note my phone is quite large it's an iphone 11 pro max and there is a case on it and it fits nicely in the controller no issues there here i'll turn this way so the sun's not looking and there we go okay since this is an entry-level drone you're going to have to do a compass calibration every time you put in a battery so that means take the joysticks push them straight up and inwards like this and it tells me to spin the drone. Okay, just do like it says, I'm spinning it. And then it says, uh, what is that? I think it says, put the nose up. Yeah, put the nose up and spin it again. It'll tell you when it's done. Well, it's done already. That didn't take long. Put it down. The camera in the front will adjust itself. It's probably wonky right now, crooked. It will just go level. When it goes level, then you do the next calibration. So I'm looking, it's going level. It's getting itself all nice and level. So the last calibration you have to do is take the two joysticks. You're gonna push them straight up and out at the same time. And that's, a, that's like a, a gyro calibration. So here we go, up and out. And you'll see a little display on your screen, level calibration, and just make sure your drone's level when you do that, and you're all done. Then look up at your, where it says shows the GPS. Mine says I have 10, so I'm all set to fly. So this thing's ready to go. Let me just show you some of the settings on here. If my phone screen is recording, I'll show you this quick. So the three dots, top right. These are all your settings, your flight parameters. I've maxed most things out. Uh, return altitude, I set it at 49. I like this track thing, it's pretty cool. If you look at the track thing, look at the bottom left, it says find my drone. If I click on that, it should find my drone sitting right here in this field. There it goes, it's coming, it's coming. Is it finding it? It says last flight position. So if you lose your drone, it will find it. Next for your image, you cannot change this. It defaults to 4K at 16 by nine MP, MP4. Uh, and then these are all little factory settings stuff you can do, so I'll get out of that. That's pretty much it. You can format your uh, memory card. I'm just gonna hit format. 
and format it right now so I can just start flying straight off there is a memory card at micro SD card in the drone so we are all set to go so let me pull these joysticks down and in the props will start and I'll take it straight up here we go okay down and in and let me just move this GoPro out of the way a little bit there we go and uh, let's go straight up there we are there we are baby nice and stable in the sky All right, so I just want to show you, there's the drone right there, there's the sun. I just want to show you how good the camera is flying into the sun. So put it over here, keep it up a bit so I don't crash into anything, and there we are. And I'll take it away up. And then I'm going to turn it around so it's not in the sun, and you'll see the difference. coming back to me and that's with the sun behind it you see the difference a lot of times these entry-level drones when they go into the sun the lens is not really designed for it uh, but when you go with the sun behind you or to the side it looks pretty good so there we go there we are I'm looking into the sun let me just bring this drone over here okay so this is the image from the drone am I recording I am recording video this is the quality of the image I've shown this drone so many times I'll get close this is the quality so basically what I'm not going to do today is I'm not going to show you all the features of the drone this one here because I've done it before and it's cold out and I've got other stuff to do but right now I'm going to tell you all the stuff it can do and I'll show you excerpts from video that I've done before so it has different modes if you look at my phone screen I think it's recording I'll just go through them really quick the first one is image follow if I click that I can do it here as I'm talking I don't want to really show it you slide I'll get back you draw a box around yourself and it's like active track. You see how it follows? It follows, 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 follows. There it is. <laughs> I'm messing up. Oh, the drone, it lost me. I got a sec. I moved too, I'm too close. I moved too fast. Let me try that again. Draw a box for myself, but this time I'll get farther back. I was too close before. All right. So now if I move, it should follow me as it goes from side to side. That's all it does. It won't follow me if I walk that way or if I walk towards it, it will just stay there. It's just designed to sit in one spot and move around. It should be tracking me. So if I walk this way, let me see, I'm just going to walk. That green square should just carry on. See that bus behind me? If I try to keep walking at the same speed as the bus, there we go. The drone stays there, but it's following me around to follow objects behind me, if that's the case. It can't follow you super quick, but it can follow you in uh, many respects next one over is gps follow and in the gps follow this here will follow the gps in your cell phone and you can walk under trees and go far away and the drone will follow you no matter where you go so here i am walking arms out it should just follow me this is a gps follow it means i can walk under trees anything it does have me a little bit over to the side so let me go this way now it has no obstacle avoidance so it would hit these lamp posts if i walked into them so like all drones on the planet uh, the gps follow can work at different heights usually on budget drones you can get it to work lower to the ground as this one is here so let me see if i turn this way so it still has me going long there we go next one on here is music video you can add music there's some in the phone already that comes with it and you can make a music video then you have vr goggles watch what happens when i click that two screens that's because you can put your phone in one of those little $49 or $39 things you can get on Amazon goggles on your face and fly around with goggles on your face next one is lens angle lens angle just means instead of controlling the gimbal going up and down with your uh, controller you could do it on the phone next one over is gesture photos so I would do you know the bunny ears or full head oh I better not do that because if I put it in then it will either take a photo or start a video. Next one after that is your waypoints. So you can do waypoints on this, fly to all sorts of points on a map as you desire. So see that circle, that's my radius. The H is where home point is, which is over there. The red circle is me and the red item is the drone and it shows which way it's facing. So to make waypoints, I'm just going to go within my little geo field here and go one, two, and three. Three waypoints, I'll hit the go button, slide, and receiving data flying and it's going to go to the waypoints i'm just going to look at i put them close together so i can zoom through really fast it's doing it here wow it goes fast to those waypoints there we go 
Next one you have filter, you can change the color to all sorts of stuff. And the last one is zoom. And that one there, if I tap on that, I can show you right here. I'll just zoom into, well, there's the grass. There's me, here I am. Can you see me, I'm down here. <laughs> So that's the zoom, but it only zooms in on your phone, not on the micro SD card on the, uh, that you put into the drone. There we go, I put it in camera mode, so I'm gonna take a photo of me. Here we go, cheese. I put it back in video now. The reason people would buy this is because of the range, so let's uh, take it all the way down the field and see what the range is. Here we go. So let's go on up and do some filming. Now, as I'm flying, if you look at my phone screen on the bottom left, you'll see the distance that I'm gonna achieve. I'm gonna see if I can take it all the way to another field. I'll just take it higher so I don't hit any of these light posts. Okay, I've got it out there on my phone. It says 1,037 meters and it's still going. I'm stopping it there because in Canada we are only allowed to fly so far. So let me just turn this around. And uh, sometimes when you turn these drones, you'll lose reception. Well, so far so good. And I'll bring the camera up. Let me just see. I'll come back a different direction. Let's go this way. There's a forest over there. And uh, let's head that way. All right. Oh, also, let me do this. This does have a sport mode, so let me put it in sport mode to come. Let's see, sport mode. Looks like my gimbal's a little wonky right now, so let me just go. I'm in sport mode, full speed. There we go. Let's see how fast it goes in sport mode. I'll burn up more battery power, but let's see how fast it goes. So you can see on the bottom left, that's my distance. I'm not coming straight back to me. I'm sort of on an angle. I'm gonna go past the football game. There's a football game going on. Uh, and uh, so I'm over on the right hand side. I'm just coming along this farmer's field. So it's a fair distance away from me still. So you can see in the wind, it does have a bit of a gimbal problem. Look at my horizon, it's tilted. I can fix that, but uh, yeah, I gotta do it manually as I fly and turn. Okay, turn. I'll fix the uh, horizon problem. There we go, just by turning it. And now I'm going to go to the football game, which is straight ahead. Oh, now, it, now the gimbal goes off again. When you put it in sport mode, it's like it must go on such an angle that it messes up the gimbal again. So you can see there's a football game right there, right in the center. I'm gonna bring the gimbal down so you can see it. So this is pretty decent. I'm actually getting some good range with this thing and it is a very entry level drone, you know, very budget drone. I don't wanna have this fall on anybody. So I'm gonna stop it about here and then take a photo. There we go. All right, there's my drone in the air. I'm gonna take it out of sport mode, put in normal mode and stop the video and take a photo. Here, I'll also go into zoom mode. There's zoom, zoom, and let's zoom in onto the field. There we go. Can you make out anything? Here, let me just turn, turn the drone. There's people, let's turn it back. There we go. Let me get rid of that zoom thing. There we go. Can you make out anything? <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. It, there's people down there, but you'd never make out who that was. Okay, last thing I'm gonna do is hit the return to home button right here. Going home, it says, and it's going to fly back. There we go. I just turned the video record on, so it will record its route back to me.
So I took off from over here, so it's got to come back someplace over here. All right, I could hear it. No, those are birds. Where is it? Oh, it's up there. Coming down, coming down. And there it goes. Should shut off. And there we are. All done. All right, the next thing to show you is what comes in this case. What are all the cool things you get? So check this out. And this is the box your F11S comes in. And inside that box is this beautiful handy carrying case. And inside that carrying case would be your drone and all the accessories. As you can see, the drone is a foldable drone, so it has a very compact footprint. Brushless motors and foldable props are included. The camera is a 4K camera with a two axis gimbal and electronic image stabilization. If you wish to record video or photos on the drone itself, you have to supply your own micro SD card. As noted in the video, there are no bottom sensors on this drone. The drone operates off a barometer. Two batteries are included in the kit, but you can get it with only one battery or even three batteries. The batteries charge up via a USB cable that is provided, and this is the rating on the battery. Total weight of the drone is 552 grams. As noted in the video, the controller is very nice, has a nice display, and provides all the information one would need when flying a drone. I should also note that the controller is rechargeable. Finally, the other accessories included would be a spare set of props and screws, as well as a USB cable for charging the batteries and the controller, and a user manual. All right, my final thoughts on the F11S 4K Pro. Well, you know what? This is an entry-level drone for people just getting into drones that you don't want to spend a lot. So you should be able to get this at a low price. I think it's available on Banggood and other locations. I'll put links below to where you can find it. There might even be a discount code. Everything works well on it. Uh, the only thing I found funny on this one, I've reviewed this drone so many times in different iterations. Uh, the only thing I found funny on this is when I put it in sport mode, the horizon went blunk, crooked. And then when I took it out and just spun it around, yawed it, it fixed itself. And then, I don't know, I've never seen it do that before. So maybe it's just this one or something goofy going on. Never saw that before. Range is excellent on this for an entry level drone. I had no issues, no reception loss, and it kept up the whole way. So that was really good. So with all that said, the links are below. Go check them out and to see if this is the drone for you. All right, guys, if you have questions on this drone, post them below and I'll get back to you. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you in future videos on many more cold mornings with many more drone reviews. Until then, take care. <laughs>